Welcome to the special video proudly brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and I'm so happy to be with you today, my friend. I know like I know that even as you watch, you will be blessed because God is a good God and He's alive and is ready to touch you and change your life forever. My friend, today is Monday and on Monday we usually share the Monday prophetic word. The word that I've got for you is a powerful word and I have been waiting for this time to record this and to share this with you because it's been like a burden on my heart ever since God spoke to me. And basically what happened early Sunday morning at about 3 a.m. the Lord woke me up and he, he put such a burden on my heart that I began to pray. I began to pray so much. And even as I was praying, the Lord started to speak to me and he said, warn my people about deception. Beware of deception. He said, in order to protect yourself in these times from deception, my friend, he said, you have to take in his word, put it into practice. As I kept on listening to what the Lord said, and even as he kept on unfolding it to me, this is what came through. As you read the word of God in this season going forward, you will be blessed. Your life will go well. In times of trouble, you will know what to do and when to do it because you have the word of God inside of you. If you want to walk in the fullness of your destiny, then take in God's word. The Lord showed me this clearly. If you want to walk in the fullness of what God has created you to be, you need God's word inside of you because it's going to enable you. It's going to release power in you and through you. You need the word of God in order to walk into your destiny. As you take in God's word, God showed me that three things will happen. Number one, all darkness and demonic gloom that might be in your life. If the atmosphere is dark and gloomy around you and you've been wondering what's going on, why is this happening? That's demonic darkness and gloom. God showed me that the first thing that will happen as you take in his word in this season is that darkness and demonic gloom will be flushed out. The second thing that God showed me is as you take in his word, it will be quickened as it goes into you and goes into your spirit and you will walk in your destiny. Apart from just walking in your destiny, it will stop any evil that's been coming against you, whether it's curses or witchcraft that's been coming against you to try and stop you from your destiny. The word of God will block that from coming into operation in your life and you'll be able to succeed in your calling and in your mission that God has placed on your life. The third thing that God showed me as you take in his word will happen is that you'll be delivered from all demonic forces that are coming against you. The first thing that happens as you commit yourself to go closer to God and read the word of God is those demonic forces that were coming against you or operating in your environment start becoming agitated by you. So the first response is they might start attacking you. They might start attacking you, but even as you persist in the word of God, even as you persist in prayer, you will find that you'll ascend to a higher level. You'll ascend to an altitude in the spirit where those demonic forces can't come. And ultimately what happens is you receive permanent deliverance. And that's the third thing that the Lord showed me. Now I want to pray for you, even as I've shared this prophetic word with you. My friend, on this channel, we always begin by lifting up the name of Jesus. So wherever you are, take your cell phone, take your device, go somewhere private. Go somewhere where no one can disturb you so that you can just freely touch the hem of his garment and receive your blessing. Are you there? Are you in a place where you can pray? Okay, right now, begin to lift up the Lord in your own words. And even as the presence and the power of God comes on the scene, then we'll begin to pray. Are you ready? Let us begin. Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. You are the Lord of Lords. You are the God of Gods. You are worthy of all praise, God. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy to be lifted up. Father, I just praise you and I thank you for this time that both myself and my dear friend who's watching this video can spend with you, Lord. I thank you for this great time, this wonderful time. Thank you for your presence and your power that's here with us right now, even as we pray. Lord, thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word. Thank you for this prophetic word. Lord, thank you for warning us in time. Lord, thank you for your blessings. Thank you for your blessing that makes rich and addeth no sorrow. Lord, thank you that even as we prayed, Lord, both myself and my dear friend. Lord, I thank you that you'll keep us in line with you, in line with your word. Precious Holy Spirit, you are here and I just welcome you. Come and take over control. Lord, take over control right here, less of me and more of you. Touch the life of my dear friend who's watching this video. Do something mighty in their life. I pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, my friend. The presence, the power, the anointing of God is here. Now let us begin to pray. I want to pray for you that the word of God will become the standard for your life, that you'll get a hunger and a desire for God. Are you ready? Let us begin. My dear Heavenly Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Lord, I pray 
that you will put such a desire inside of my dear friend who's watching this video to read your word, to take it in. So much so that their second nature response is your word, is what does the word of God say? That's what I'm going to do. Lord, allow my dear friend who's watching this video to have such a passion and a desire for your word and allow them to understand what they're reading when they are reading it. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, one of the attacks that the enemy uses against us when we try to read your word is we start to become sleepy. We start to get distracted. Lord, I pray for the grace that in the times when we might get distracted, Lord, give us a desire to remain focused. And if we get tired and sleepy, give us a desire or give us supernatural spiritual energy so that we can stay awake and we can read your word properly. And even as we finish reading your word, then we can go into a time when we can rest. I thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace. Lord, I pray, even as my dear friend who's watching this video has heard this word, and they put it into practice, as they take your word and they put it into practice, Lord, I pray that all demonic darkness and gloom that's around them will be flushed out. I pray this in the name of Jesus, and I thank you for this. I thank you that wherever there's any evil in the life of my dear friend, tormenting my dear friend who's watching this video, your son or your daughter who's watching this video, let that evil demonic darkness be flushed out by fire and by force. I pray this in the name of Jesus and I thank you for it, Father. Lord, I pray that even as my dear friend who's watching this video, my dear brother, my dear sister, even as they watch this video and listen to these words that you've given me to share with them, Lord, as they take your word and they put it into practice, let them walk in their destiny. Let them walk in the full destiny and the calling that you've put in their lives that you've created for them, that you've put on their lives, the mandate and the desire that you have for them. Let them walk in your perfect will, Lord. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, and whenever any evil tries to come against them, because they are putting your word into practice, let all such evil fail. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Lord, even as my dear friend who's watching this video takes your word and puts it into practice, let them know who you are. Show them your glory, Lord. Show my dear friend who's watching this video your glory. Show them what you can do. I pray this in Jesus' mighty name. And I thank you for it. Lord, finally I pray, wherever there's any evil spirit that has been tormenting the life of my dear friend, if any evil spirit has been tormenting them, Lord, deliver them completely even as they take in your word and continue in prayer. Lord, as they take in your word and they continue in prayer, let them go to a higher altitude, an altitude where those evil spirits can't touch them. Lord, and even as you lift them up to that higher altitude, I pray for my dear brother, my dear sister who's watching this video, that they will become a shining light in their community. Raise them up to a position of leadership in their community. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it. If you are blessed by these videos and you would like to give a seed, feel free to do so. The link is in the description. All the seeds and the money that comes in goes towards the work of the gospel. And we really appreciate your giving. In saying that, it brings us to the end of the video. God bless you. God keep you. God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.